Yo guys, what is going on? It's Luki here and welcome back to another simple but clean paint job video. Now you guys absolutely love these videos and I haven't really been uploading them that much because I haven't really been playing the game but I will be back to uploading these. Just give me some paint job suggestions down below and I'll make sure to do a bunch of them if you guys would like me to. Um, I do really enjoy making them and also before I do get into it as well, MW is just around the corner, the beta is in about a month so because the beta is out, I'm going to be doing a beta code giveaway for Modern Warfare. So you can guys, so you guys can play the MW beta earlier than everyone else. So all you want to do to enter that giveaway is make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and go ahead and DM me on Twitter. It'll be in the link in the description down below. And then simply DM me on there and I'll hopefully get back to you guys as much as I can. Now, um, that being said, um, in MW as well, I'm going to be uploading a ton of these videos. This, the first video I'm going to upload is most probably going to be a simple but clean paint job episode. So if you guys love these episodes and this series, then stick around because in Modern Warfare, in the next Call of Duty, I'm going to be uploading absolutely loads of these videos and you guys are going to have the best paint jobs in the game. Anyway, if you've been paying attention to the background, this is the first paint job. It is kind of like a marble paint job effect. Now, unfortunately, you can only get the base kind of color in blue, but still, it looks very, very cool in my opinion. So as you can see, I've gotten a few of those stickers. It's literally six layers um, or like you could add more if you want, but it's literally six layers and the outcome is pretty nice. This is the outcome of this paint job, six layers, and you guys have something that looks absolutely amazing. It looks really, really cool. I really, really like this blue camo, by the way. It just looks really unique. Not many people have this um, thing, but as you can see, what we've got to do is get a few stickers, overlap them with each other, and then get this, um, get a circle and fill out the whole thing. As you can see, you guys don't have to use purple or whatever. You guys can use whatever color you guys want to, but I use purple. You guys can go with green, anything like that, and it will change a bit of the paint job. Anyway, that is the first paint job. The next paint job is going to be this cherry blossom paint job. Now, I absolutely love this cherry blossom paint job. It is um, probably one of the favorite paint jobs that I have made in this game. It is really, really clean and it really does look like the actual cherry blossom camo from Black Ops 2. Anyway, this is probably one of the most complicated ones in today's episode. It is still very simple if you follow my steps. It is very, very easy. It's kind of just um, repeating the same process over and over and over again. So... Um, yeah, I have actually got a separate video on this, but a lot of people wanted me to go more in depth on how to do it because they were struggling to copy it exactly how I did it. Now, that is the thing with these paint jobs, by the way. You don't have to copy it exactly how I do it because you guys can make it your own way. You guys can make it unique and you guys can make it stand out from the rest of everyone else. Now, um, if you guys remember, this is a camo from Black Ops 2. It is called Cherry Blossom. It was actually one of my favorite paint jobs, or I mean camos in Black Ops 2 to be fair. I think you got it for like 50 headshots or something like that and yeah, it was definitely one of the fan favourites and they actually brought it back in this Call of Duty. They actually brought it back and yeah, um, you actually had to buy it. So instead of buying it, you guys can just of course go ahead and make it. So anyway, without me talking too much, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and get a pinkish background and that is how to start off. Now the next thing to do is get these shapes and stretch it out to the edge of the weapon and it basically makes it a bit blurry and this will make, this is just for the background, this is just so the background looks a lot more like the actual colour from the real um, camo. So uh, as you can see I'm just uh, doing this, I'm overlapping them a few times. If you guys want a more in-depth um, version of this paint job by the way, of this tutorial, I do have a separate video. And it is all about this uh, paint job. It's in slow motion. This is fast forwarded just so the video isn't like 30 minutes long. So I have fast forwarded it. Um, so that might make it a bit more harder to follow. But it is very, very simple to be fair. As you can see, the next part of the paint job is obviously doing the cherry blossom branches for the trees. Now, um, you don't have to copy exactly where I put them, but if you guys want to, by all means, you can go ahead and do that. But I recommend you guys getting creative and just put them in where you want to, um, just so it can look a bit better. Maybe you guys can make it even better than me if you guys put them in different places. But these were some of the places that I thought they probably would look best in. So as you can see, 
I am just getting these branches and I'm just spreading them around the weapon, putting them in random places. Um, first of all, I get a quite a thick one just for the like base like trunk of the branch and then I get little branches spreading all from each one. Next of all, obviously I've got to add the cherry blossom flowers on the tree. This is right here and then as you can see, I just get the flower. I make a white one first and then I get a pink one in the middle and then a red one in the very center of each flower. This is just so the flowers all have um, like quite a lot of detail to them. Now I only recommend doing this to the big flowers just because they are the ones that obviously stand out the most. The little flowers you guys can just go ahead and leave pink or leave white or leave red or whatever you guys want to do. Uh, as, you can, as you guys can see for the first few big ones I do um, I make it a white then pink in the middle and then in the very middle I make it red and then for the other ones I just go ahead and get like a white flower or a red flower or a pinkish flower and I stick it on the tree and it just um, it's just because as you can see on this paint job I have actually used 64 out of 64 layers and I did have to go back and delete some flowers and delete some branches and all that stuff just so I could fit more in it would be so cool if you could have like a hundred layers or like um, just a bit more than 64 because on these like complicated um, paint jobs that involve a lot of um, like layers obviously you guys are gonna have to use quite a lot of layers and it would be very very nice I really hope in the next Call of Duty they allow you to have more layers it would be absolutely awesome I'm pretty sure they're not going to though because it's been the same for like every single Call of Duty it's always been 64 layers I'm not sure why it's 64 but It'd be very nice if it was just like at 100 or something like that. As you can see now though, I am making the branches a bit more detailed. And I'm just adding little branches that go off from each branch. Making it look more like a tree and not just a random brown blob on the paint job. So I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of this paint job. I'll put it in fast forward or whatever. If you guys have any questions, um, make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. And I'll get back to all of them. And yeah, um, I'll, I'll leave you guys with the rest of this one. And I'll get back to you guys in the next one. So guys, this next paint job, I'm not quite sure what to call it. It's very, very simple. It's only 10 layers. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Norwegian lights. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. It might be like Norwegian lights or something like that, but I'm pretty sure you guys know what I mean. Um, so basically, this is the paint job. I think it looks really cool. It's very unique. Now, in my opinion, it does definitely work best on pistols just because it covers the whole entire pistol. Now. For this um, very very simple paint job all you guys need to do is get the joker icon and it's around about here there you go there it is all you gotta do is pick whatever color you guys want to and then basically just make it really big and zoom in to the teeth area for this example i'm going to just get a purple one and as you can see i'm making it really really big and i'm getting closer and closer to those teeth in the middle and then once you get to those teeth in the middle, just move the paint job around a little bit until you guys find the perfect position. As you guys can see, just play around with it a little bit until you guys find the right position. So somewhere around about here, I think would look quite nice. Um, yeah, there we go, I'll stick it there. That looks quite nice there, I think. Now, um, it's pretty simple. That's all you gotta do. Just keep on repeating that, get different colors obviously, and spread it around the weapon. And yeah, the more the more you use, the more uh, like the better it was gonna look because obviously it's gonna have loads of different colors all over the weapon. But personally, 
I like sticking to just a few. As you can see here, there's only like 10 layers on this weapon and it looks pretty damn cool. So that is the third, I believe, paint job in this video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video so far, by the way. If you guys are, please go ahead and drop a sub and a like. I would really, really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 20,000 before Modern Warfare starts. So if you could go ahead and help me out, I would really appreciate that. Anyway, the last paint job in today's video is going to be this shark paint job. Now this shark paint job may look a little bit complicated, but trust me, it's probably one of the most easiest paint jobs in today's video. So, um, as you guys can see, it is just a blue shark. I have got a separate video to this as well. Um, it is probably one of my fan favorites. Uh, everyone loved this paint job. I thought I'd just include it in today's video in case you guys haven't seen it yet because a lot of people didn't see that video because notifications around that time were just completely messed up. So, um, yeah, and a lot of people in the comment sections were telling me uh, that I should go more in detail about how to make this paint job. So, first of all, all you got to do is go ahead and get a black background, stick it around the whole entire weapon, and then go ahead and get a white circle, stretch it, and pull it around the bottom of the weapon, get a blue circle, and then stretch it once again, and pull it towards the top of the weapon. And then for the eyes, it's just a simple black circle, and then I'll do the detail in a bit later. For the mouth, I just use this little shape here and I put it towards the left hand side of the weapon. I do stretch it and play with it just a little bit so it makes a cool little mouth shape. And then the next part, this is 45 layers, this um, um, shark paint job is. But the thing that takes up about 30 or 40 of those layers is all the teeth. As you can see, it's just teeth, teeth, teeth. And there's literally like 30 odd layers of just teeth. And that is what takes up so much of the paint job layers um, and that's why that's why it's so easy it might look complicated but trust me all you gotta do is this and then add all the teeth once you've added the teeth go ahead and add the eyes for that I just got a white triangle and I put a black triangle on top of it and then finally I put a whiter whiter bottom just so uh, if you guys have seen the sharks in real life or whatever or photos if you notice, the bottom of them is always really like, it's a different kind of shade to the rest of their body. And as you can see, the final touches are of course the fins. So I just go ahead and get some black triangles and I place them on the weapon. Now that has been it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, once again, make sure to go ahead and drop a sub and a like. I'm gonna be uploading a ton of these videos in Modern Warfare so make sure to go ahead and be subscribed and turn on those notifications if you guys do not want to miss out on those and once again of course I am going to be doing ahead and doing a Modern Warfare beta code giveaway so to enter that subscribe to the channel leave a like and then go ahead and DM me on my Twitter the link will be in the description down below simply go ahead and DM me on there subscribe to the channel and yeah that is it hopefully you guys did enjoy this video once again and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.